Hey, Tactical Painter back out in Suits Crafting Woodshop. Welcome back out to the shop. I know it's been a while since I've been out here. We had the holiday season wrapped up and got quite a few orders put in through that. Thank you guys so much for all of the support that you guys have shown me in the wood shop. So, been got all caught up on that, got everything out. Everyone got their orders before Christmas time, so it all turned out great. And uh, had a lot of fun, got to create a lot of things. I didn't actually do a whole lot of videoing during that time. Um, we were down a man at my work and so we actually uh, were doing overtime and I was getting orders out and so um, I just was keeping up on orders I wasn't worrying about videoing stuff and I was just cranking them out as fast as I could got everything out on time so it turned out really well um, got a lot of really fun orders got a lot of you guys love the river table and mother of pearl blank so I've been keeping those up on the site um, been doing some color testing lately with the cactus juice, the Turntex dyes that they've been putting out. I got a couple more in. I got uh, black, which you guys can see on this blank here. I got this black one that I dyed up and I've cast into a pen. I've got the Aurora Borealis colors uh, here on the front. And it looks pretty nice. I like it. Uh, the black isn't as black as my customer was wanting. Uh, so we did something a little bit different for him. I uh, added more black dye to it, made it a little bit darker, and made one for him with that. And so I took this one and just made this uh, cast-off blank, and I'm tossing it in my cast-off bin. Um, I told you guys in a previous video that I actually had gotten some gold in, and I was going to do some testing with gold. And gold looks really cool. I like the color of the gold. Um, I mean, it just looks like a really bright yellow, which is nice. I like it. It's Aztec gold, and then I put some blue on the front of it here and you can see the contrast is really really cool so that one into the random bin i also had some orders come in that i had leftover resin with so i took it and i made this one was one of them this is a uh, aurora borealis i had a mother of pearl blank actually that didn't quite turn out with the black lines and things like i was hoping for uh and so that one is in the random bin this one's really cool. Um, I had some leftover interference green Perlex powder that I had left over, so I mixed up some clear slow really fast and then added some black to it and some stars and then I just mixed those together and you can see the cool swirling effects that I got uh, in that blank and so that one is in the random cast off bin. I was going to turn that one up myself but I haven't had a whole lot of time to do anything personal out in the shop for a little bit so I decided, you know what, you guys can get your hands on it. And then with some of the leftover blue from that gold one, I threw it in this with that leftover green um, interference, and then it created this blank. So that's in the random cast off too. So if you guys want to get any of these, um, go to my Etsy site. You can check out my random bin, and those will be in there. I also did some color dye testing with the uh, electric blue, and I made these two blanks. I took uh, one single piece of burl, and I cut it in half lengthwise um, so it, these two sections were originally actually right here and so this these two match up with these two on the opposite side and so I, I cut them in half flip them around and then cast in between to see uh, if that was a technique that I liked using and I actually enjoyed how it turned out uh, the having that section in the middle I think it looks really neat usually I'll put a burl on one side cast this other side but I think having that um, section in the middle gives a really beautiful effect check those out these are not going to be in the random cast off bin because I am going to save these because I want to see how they look once they're turned too um, I just want to share those with you if you guys are interested in stuff like that let me know and I'll be happy to make up some more because these were fun got my son out in the shop yesterday he was out of school for uh, Martin Luther King Jr. day um, his birthday and so we Got out here and I took a block of, it was just like a, uh, I think it was a two by six and it cuts really easy on the lathe and it's really forgiving because if you get a catch and that piece will just kind of chip out, but the entire thing won't release and kick up at you. So that's great for uh, teaching a brand new turner how to do that. And so we're making, he wanted to make a magic wand. I was like, you make a magic wand, you make a candlestick holder. And he kind of looked at me like, candlestick holder? So he decided he wanted to make a magic wand. So um, he this, he liked the 
having the thought of having a ball on the end as like a grip and then um, you know having a magic wand come down to a point and so that's the design that he wanted and the more that we got to doing this I'm like you know what I think I might have some transference here because uh, it looks a lot like a conductor's wand and he's in bands so <laughs> when we got down further I was like buddy this is starting to look like a conductor's wand he goes oh crud yeah, yeah, it really is. <laughs> so, so we're making a nice conductor's magical wand, and uh, but it's turning out pretty cool. Um, got it all set up. It's ready to be sanded. Then we're gonna decide what kind of finish he wants to put on it. And because it is Douglas fir, one of the options I'm gonna give him is if he wants to uh, torch it, if he wants to put a flame to it, make the grain really pop and and uh, exciting. And so then, other than that, we'll put either like a wax or an oil finish on it. And we'll show you guys uh, once it's all done up. So he just asked me earlier if he can come out tomorrow after school and he gets all his homework done, if he can come out and finish that. I told him it wouldn't be a problem. We'll get it done tomorrow because i got a three-day weekend this week. Besides that, uh, I've been working on cleaning up my garage. And while doing so, I actually uh, unearthed a former project somebody gave to me. They had a piano bench that one of the legs had broken off. The glue failed because it broke and separated the leg from the main column post. And there was glue on both sides of the wood. There was still glue left over on the leg, still glue left over on the post. So the glue failed. So the wood is still perfectly fine. I just had to clean all the glue off. And I just cut some one half inch dowels in order to um, glue into the holes here. So once I can get a couple of ratchet straps together, I'll wrap it around the post, glue that leg back on with that dowel in the middle and glue running all through the hole, and then get this fixed up and then throw some touch-up stain back on the wood that's exposed on the sides because when they design the post, the legs are actually inset as like a step flourish. And so once I scraped all of the glue and the old stain off, um, now there's exposed wood. So I'll have to go through with a touch-up pen with like some dark walnut oil and just get that back to looking uh, like the rest of it. It's going to be tough because uh, the thing is old and so you can't ever match that tarnish that's happened on top of the stain over the years. But I'll get it as close as I possibly can just doing some refurbishing work on a piano stool. So that's it for this week. Just wanted to give you guys a quick update, let you know I'm still alive. The holidays didn't kill me and I'm still out in the shop just making up a whole bunch of fun stuff for you guys. So I just got an order today for some more Mother of Pearl blanks. So don't forget about those because they are awesome. Love how they turn out. Come get yourself some. Check out the River Table blanks. Just shipped out two of those today uh, for a customer that put in an order a couple of days ago along with a curly maple antique brass american patriot pen so be sure to check out my etsy site suitscrafting.etsy.com and come on by get yourself some fun stuff whether you're a fellow turner you can get yourself some blanks or if you want to get yourself a pen i've got plenty of options available thanks so much for joining me out in the shop this week this is tactical painter in the suits crafting wood shop signing out